Okay, guys, I have a Dell Optiplex GX270 desktop. Uh, you can't see that. Uh, it's just the full tower. Um, today I'm doing this because this is actually running Windows 7 Starter Edition. Uh, you may be wondering how did I get why did, you may be wondering two questions why did I put starter on um, starter it, uh, because this computer does not have the the graphics card to run arrow and yes the screen res is very low because um, due to the Intel Extreme Graphics 2 driver the driver is not supported on Windows 7 and I, that's why I could only run starter um, maybe I, I might have be it might have been able to run basic but it's too late now. Uh, and uh, I also got made uh, my Windows 7 disk into a universal disk, you know, the one where you can select all your Windows version. And we're gonna, for without further ado, I'm just gonna shut up and we're gonna turn this thing on. Ready? Here we go. So you see, we're in the BIOS. Yeah, it is a little slow in the BIOS. Um, I don't know why it is. It's just, it's just a little slow. Kind of hangs there a little bit. As you can see down at the bottom of the monitor, you have the Vista. If your graphics card isn't supported, you'll get the Vista sc loading screen. But if it's supported, you'll get the, like the flying Windows colors. All right, here we go. Windows 7 starter. Windows 7 starter. Welcome. Is your startup sound? All right. Um. Fully booted, one minute forty-five seconds to boot. Uh, it's pretty bad for an old. It's pretty. It's it's good for an old computer. All right. Yeah. Like I said, the screen res is terrible because um, of the graphics driver not supported. As you can see, Windows Seven Starter, um, Intel Pentium Four, one gig of memory, thirty-two bit, and. As you can see, I've activated. Windows is activated. Oh, whoops. Wrong, wrong line of text. <laughs> Low for that one. Uh, anyway, so. Uh, um, yeah. I wanted to run you down a little bit over Starter. Starter's got to be the most bullcrap operating system out there because. Or in, the, or in Southeast Asia, because it's only available in Southeast Asia. But, um, as you can see here. No personalize option. I don't have any other. Um, you don't have a. You don't get to personalize the desktop background. But you can. You can change the screensaver, which I can't do because I don't have a supported graphics chip. But um, you could probably change the screensaver. But you still. You can change the screensaver. But you still get IE8. Yes, I know. Uh, you get Windows Media Player, and you still get the thing where if you pull up, you'll get. Um, you know the list. Uh, you still get Windows Clock or Calendar. You know you can still see your calendar. What you do not get is you do not get Arrow Glass or any of the Arrow features. Um, there, well, actually, maybe there's actually only two Arrow features. Uh, Starter does not allow you to have Arrow, but you can still or doesn't have Arrow, but you can still do Arrow Snap. You know, put the windows side by side and compare them. Um, also, let's let's say I opened up uh, Windows uh, Media Player. As you can see, no arrow peak. You don't get arrow peak. I don't like that. But, um, yeah, it's okay. Uh, if I start playing a song here, just to sample music, uh, I still get my controls down here. Let's see. I still pause and everything. Uh, go ahead and close Windows Media Player. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much all you can do with Windows 7 Starter. Um, oh, uh, there's a few more features. Um,. I don't know why it's detecting a floppy disk because I do not have a floppy drive. Um, let me just find it in here. Uh, where's the control panel? Yeah. Yeah, hang on a second. I went to the wrong thing. All right. Um, also, as you know, you can, as you can see, you cannot create. Um, you cannot create a home group in this edition. You can join a home group, but you cannot create a home group. So. Um, I don't have one right now, so you cannot you cannot create them. But you, if it find if Windows finds one, you can join it. Uh, simpler internet, you know the basics, like Windows Vista Home Basic. Um, yes. 
You still get gadgets and customizable taskbar, customizable sound, everything. Just no customizable background. You can't really personalize your desktop or anything, or the themes. So there you go, guys. Windows 7 starter on a Dell Optiplex GX270. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. See you in the next video.